Churches in California are required to pay for abortions thanks to a ruling by the Obama administration. But pro-life lawmakers are asking the White House to step in and enforce the Weldon Amendment, a law protecting churches from paying for abortions. Joining us now is Representative Andy Harris, a Republican from Maryland. Welcome back to the program. Good to be with you. You met with Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price last week about state regulations that require California churches to pay for abortions. What did you ask the administration to do? Well, we asked the administration to reconsider enforcement of what's called the Weldon Amendment, which is a conscience protection uh, that, that disallows any state uh, from passing laws that basically would require insurers or anyone to provide abortions uh, against conscience protection. It's, it, there's another law in California we asked them to look into that actually would require pregnancy centers to refer people for abortions. We think a pretty clear violation of the Weldon Amendment. The last administration was unwilling to enforce the Weldon Amendment. We think this administration will. Well, the conscience rights that you talk about, explain that briefly. Representative Weldon, when he was in Congress, attached uh, this, uh, this uh, legislation that uh, said that you basically, uh, that everyone's conscience uh, had to be protected, including the ability of any health care provider not to have to provide abortion, insurance companies not to have to cover abortions. Again, in this case, uh, we think it covers pregnancy centers not to have to refer for abortions. Uh, this is a pretty clear protection. We think that, that we all deserve under the First Amendment, and thank goodness Congressman Weldon uh, put this protection in. Uh, in my mind, shame on the last administration for not enforcing it. Let's move on to uh, Vice President Pence, who's on the Hill today. He's working on health care. Michigan Representative Fred Upton, who's a moderate Republican, says he is against the latest GOP plan. Representative, what is it going to take to get Republicans on the same page? Uh, I don't know. I know Vice President uh, Pence is working around the clock. I think the president's going to get back into this. This is a great plan we have now. As you know, it defunds Planned Parenthood, which is, an, which is a goal that many of us have had for many, many years. Uh, it also takes the uh, Affordable Care Act and it, and it uh, changes it in many ways that I think makes it better, makes it more affordable, makes insurance more affordable. Uh, so again, the administration, the leadership is working to uh, change those few minds uh, that we need uh, in order to have a majority of votes and hopefully uh, to pass this on Thursday. Thursday this week. That last round was really a blow to the to the president, that health care round. How is his relationship right now with Congress? Would you say it's adversarial, good? I think it's good. I, th I think, with, with uh, again, with the Republicans in Congress, I think it's a good relationship. I think that uh, he probably realizes that this version of the health care bill was actually better, uh, not only for him, but for the country especially, and for uh, people who, who have to buy insurance than the last version. I think he is disappointed, though, that, uh, again, he tried to reach across the aisle to get people on the other side of the aisle to work with him, whether it's on the, uh, the budget that we're going to vote on, whether it's on this health care bill, and, and uh, was rebuffed. Okay, well, thanks for checking in with us. We appreciate it. Representative Andy Harris of Maryland.